Hello, today we're talking about what you should be looking for in construction in the upcoming year. To do that, I am joined by John Cherry, Vice President of Construction Sales at Fastenal. John, thanks for talking today. Yeah, thanks, Kurt. Thanks for having me. Well, John, let's hear it. Uh, what's the first thing people should be looking for as it uh, relates to the construction field in 2022? Yeah, I think right now the, the the challenge is pretty obvious, right? It's it's supply chain, and and more specifically, it's you know getting product uh, onto the job sites, et cetera. Is uh, you know uh, all the companies are are struggling to keep a uh, you know a consistent flow of supplies, um, and so you know really right now that's where everybody should be focused is you know how do we get ourselves aligned with partners that uh, can help us keep a consistent flow of supplies on these job sites. If I had had to bet money going into that answer, what you were going to say, I would have said pods. Uh, what could you tell me about pods? Are they a must have for 2022? Why are they so useful? Yeah, I think obviously at Fast and All, we believe that it, it solves the problem uh, as it relates to inventory. I mean, obviously, there's going to be some things that, that are out of our control as it relates to the market in today's current atmosphere. But, you know, planning and being in front of the, the inventory needs um, give us and our customers a really competitive advantage to be able to get that inventory on site and keep that inventory on site and make it visible to both parties so that we can monitor that uh, more accurately and, and, and ensure that we're doing everything we can way in advance of the need uh, to get that product out there and to keep the product out there. And so the pod program is unique. You know, it allows us to deploy some of our vending solutions and technology to the job sites, which just further enhance the relationship between the customer and Fastenal and uh, ultimately allows us to, to have even, um, even more real-time visibility into what the inventory levels look like at that job site. If I had to put you on the spot and say, what is a pod? How would you describe what a pod is? So a pod is a pretty simple program we've, we've done for many years. It's nothing more than you know, a C container or Conex. And um, ultimately, it's, it just allows us to have a storage location of a product in on that job site. You know, our, our kind of reinvented pod over the last uh, several years, we've invested in that program and, and made it more of a robust program in the sense that, you know, we're able to get our vending technology um, inside the pod, which is you know, an even better uh, method of supplying products uh, between Fastenal and our customers. And so vending technology is not new. Um, it's something that's been around for a while. It's something that Fastenal is a market leader in. And uh, we believe that um, by being able to get that those solutions inside our pod on a job site, it just creates a better relationship um, between us and the customer and ultimately lowering the total cost of ownership there for the customer. Strengthening the supply chain is something that we keep hearing about. Are there a couple of ways you can think of that we can add resiliency to somebody's supply chain? I, I would tell you, I think uh, the, the biggest place that often gets overlooked here, maybe it's because it's it's too easy um, of, of a area to focus is just the relationship between the companies. You know, what's the supplier's capabilities? What are the demands or the requests from the customer? Um, you know, and how do those two fit? And is the relationship strong? Is it transparent? Are we both helping each other along the way? Um, it simply can't be a one-sided approach. Those uh, are not going to last very long. And so, you know, I think is it, is it um, evolves involves resiliency. I think ultimately uh, the relationship needs to be strong there between um, the supplier and the buyer. So I keep hearing about job site solutions. My coworker keeps talking about over and over job site solutions. When we're talking about construction, what do we mean by that? What are some examples of job site solutions? Yeah, I think the pod is obviously number one example. Uh, the vending machines is, is another example. Um, you know, ultimately, the, the, the phrase job site solutions here, fast and all, is just how do we as a supplier get closer to the point of use of, of that inventory? And specifically, how can we control and maintain the supply levels at the point of use? Um, and job sites create uh, unique challenges. Um, and, you know, we have many solutions for that, whether it's a, a two door job box or, you know, something to that effect where we can put inventory out there or a pod or a vending machine or vending machine inside a, a job trailer or something to that effect or a, a locker um, of some kind, an outdoor locker of some kind where we can get inventory on that job site. I mean, ultimately, the solutions on the job site as it relates to fast and all side is just how, how do we get inventory closer to the point of use? What in 2022 should people be thinking about regarding data? Is that something that they need in their supply chain? There's a big demand for data right now, um, and more importantly, clean, accurate data. 
And uh, I think ultimately um, it, it drives a lot of decisions that are made and, and, it, and it needs to be a part of the relationship. Data needs to be available. It needs to be accurate and uh, customers need to be able to have access to that data. And so, yeah, so data is uh, absolutely a big important piece of all of this. Vending is one way they could get some data from us. Is there another way that they can, are there other ways that they can get data from Fastenal? Yeah, for our large national partnerships, Fastenal has uh, some internal uh, programs that we've built called the Fast360, which allows customers access um, to their, their spend data. Um, and uh, it's it's more robust than I can explain here, uh, but uh, it's a it's a it's a very large um, uh, offering and sample of the data that the customers are um, you know would want in their business. John Cherry, I believe I've taken enough of your time. Uh, thank you again for talking today. Yeah, thanks, Kurt.